everyone, good morning. My name is Alicia and I post a lifestyle and vlog content and a bunch of travel guides, so be sure to subscribe if you're not already. But today, two of my bridesmaids surprised me with a trip to go to Kleinfeld's and we're about to head out and I am just so, so excited. I have not tried on any wedding dresses or really done much for the wedding. We were gonna try to get married this year but we decided to push it off to like next summer so i <laughs> honestly i i just can't wait um i kind of have some ideas of like the type of style and wedding dress that i want nothing like extravagant or anything like i'm not gonna spend thousands of dollars on a dress but i i do want to try on like a big ball gown and a mermaid even though i'm don't know if those are actually the ones that I'm gonna want to actually wear for our wedding, but <laughs> I used to like grow up watching Say Yes to the Dress and everything, and it was always like, oh, like maybe one day I can go to Kleinfeld's and that'll be really, really fun. And today is the day they surprised me with a trip. Um, my friends Devin and Sarah. Sarah was my college roommate all four years, and Devin's been one of my best friends since freshman year as well, so. I just, I can't wait. Devin's about to pick me up and we're gonna road trip down there and probably stop for brunch. And I'm gonna try to give you guys as much footage at Kleinfeld's and maybe even like my final thoughts at the end of the video of Kleinfeld's. Is it worth it? Like all of that jazz. So I'm just really excited to finally almost just like feel like a bride. I haven't tried on any dresses, haven't had a bridal party or anything just because we haven't like needed to or gone that route because we're moving and everything. So I'm just really, really excited. Sounds like Archie, our kitten, is as well. But I'll try to get as much footage and try on dresses and all of that with you guys. I lose my breath whenever I see you. So we just got done at Kleinfeld's. I did not buy a dress, but we found some really good options and a better idea of what I want. Um, now we're just grabbing some dinner, some mac and cheese, and some drinks. But yeah, <laughs> it's been a really good time. So. Fanciest bathroom I've ever been in. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow up. Get a dozen. So it is actually the next morning. I just like got a workout in. So just disregard 
what I look like right now. I'm like a sweaty mess right now. But I wanted to just kind of end this vlog with a little recap of what I thought, my impressions of Kleinfeld's, is it all worth it? And just fill you guys in on it. Parking really wasn't too bad. There's a lot of parking lots, obviously, like downtown New York and everything. Um, so we just reserved that ahead of time, which made it a lot easier. And we did have to wear masks while we were inside the lobby and if we had been vaccinated we were more than welcome to take our masks off once we got to like the dressing room area and like the try on area where all the dresses were so just so you guys know that but honestly my first impression was just like the elegance like the pure elegance like everything was obviously white and like sparkly and just so elegant like it was just so fancy and it was so surreal for me to like be there because I'm not like a fancy person whatsoever but I was just like t like my breath was honestly taken away like you just walk in and you're just like this is Kleinfeld's. <laughs> honestly all the people were super super nice all the consultants one thing that we really noticed was all the consultants like they all wear black like that's I'm assuming like the dress code and everything and they just look like adorable like we loved all of their outfits they were all so cute but you just walk into like the area and you see all these dresses all these other brides like trying on dresses and you're kind of like hyping each other up like as you like walk by and it was just really really fun experience and it was really crazy to actually like try on a wedding dress for the first time at Kleinfeld Bridal. It, it's some part of me just like doesn't believe that even happened. Um, just like looking back, that's why I'm like really glad that I vlogged it and everything just because I can look back and like see the dresses that I tried on. There was definitely some no's in <laughs> the selection. Definitely not a ball gown girl whatsoever, but we kind of found some fabrics whether it was tulle or chiffon or silk and all the stuff. So it was really interesting um, to kind of just figure that out. And honestly, I was so impressed by the consultant we had because she was able to like, I showed her like a couple pictures and then she went to the back room. She's like, oh, I got some ideas for you. And like she came back with like some of the most amazing dresses on the first round of like try on. Like there was like probably one that we didn't try on and then the second round she came back and it was like spot on of like what I wanted I didn't show you guys like all the dresses because I kind of want some of it to be like a surprise and everything um but that like just props to them like they know what they're doing obviously like that's their job but I was just really surprised like she really really nailed it and it was really fun to have Devin and Sarah there each time like I came out we did like a little rating and they were like compare like they were taking all the pictures for me and they were like comparing like the dresses like they were holding up a picture of a previous dress and then the dress that I was wearing but honestly like it was so 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 worth it I can't speak on like the process of signing up for it because Devin actually surprised me with it so Actually, it was funny, like all the information was like under her name and they're like, do you live in New Hampshire in this area? And I was like, nope, that was Devin. <laughs> Honestly, that was just like so special. And then we were able to just like hang out and go out to dinner and get some nice dessert and nice drinks and everything. And then drive back home. It was like three and a half, four hours away. So it was a long, long day, but it was so worth it. I can't believe I was actually trying on wedding dresses at Kleinfeld's. Like that was like a dream and so surreal to me. It was something I've always wanted to do. Like when I would watch Kleinfeld's back home, like I was in Oregon. I was like on the West Coast. I was like, that's like a far off dream. And now I'm like actually living on the East Coast and I was able to actually go there. It was just like, an amazing experience. But yeah, so that's my little story of going to Kleinfeld's. I truly, truly enjoy it. Like just the elegance and the beauty, like obviously everything was white, but it was so put together in like the cream and sparkles and everything. I don't know. I just really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, so that was kind of my experience at Kleinfeld's and I really hope you guys enjoyed this little fun vlog. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and if you haven't already, be sure to hit the like button and turn on your bell notifications to know when I post. I'm hoping to actually post a couple extra videos in the upcoming weeks, um, and I'm not sure what days those are gonna be on, so definitely turn on the notifications for those, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.